The Christmas rush is on and there's weather coming in. Yes, the roads melted a little bit, but they'll freeze back up as the temperatures drop. Then we get snow and after that we get freezing rain. The roads are going to be a mess for several days. We could have highways that are going to be closed, you know, due to crashes or power lines down, trees down. So I'd really like to urge people to stay home or stay close to home if you can. I know that's a really hard message to hear. ODOT crews are preparing by spraying de-icing chemicals on the roads before snow arrives. But de-icer fluid only works down to about 20 degrees, and in sub-freezing conditions, even treated roads will get icy. You know, talking to our crews, and they're talking about preparing for the storm, and I asked them, what are you doing to prepare? And they said, telling our families we won't be home for Christmas because we're going to be out on the roads working. Cinders and sand will be spread to help drivers get traction in icy conditions, but if freezing rain materializes, the cinders will quickly be covered in ice, rendering them useless motorists will need to be extremely careful. When you drive, just be very smooth. You don't change lanes abruptly. You don't accelerate abruptly. Everything you do, you do in a very smooth, slow fashion to allow the tires to maintain their grip. Paul Macy, Gills Point S Tire Service Manager, commutes to Ben from Lapine every day. He has studded tires on all his personal cars and anticipates more people will want the additional traction in the coming days. People are popping up out of their little groundhog holes and saying, wait a minute, there's going to be some nasty weather. I better get off my butt and take care of something. AAA recommends drivers carry emergency kits with extra blankets, extra clothes, food, and water for everyone in the vehicle in case they get delayed in traffic or stuck in a snowbank. Check your tires, radiator fluid, battery and windshield wipers to make sure they're up to snuff for the rough weather and difficult driving ahead. Brooks Navely, Central Oregon Daily News.